when this one is new, I mean old, it's always been there actually can you play as portrait. Yovik is famous for its many runestones. Skills have been unable to crack the meaning of the runes inscribed on them. See, that's a new one. I like the new ones. Big Bunny is Jovik's best and maybe only clockmaker. The yeah, about Sage Hat that's been there since the dawn of time, back when it was the cat on the loading screen. I still miss the cat on the loading screen. Maybe they could like put the cat into. Maybe they could put the cat into the um, image or whatever somewhere. Anyway, I am back. Hopefully I can finish these today. Oh yeah, I have to dismount. To make the thing. The recipe for the potion of untrue seeing is simple, but it must be followed to the letter. I will call out instructions and you act on them as quick as you can. Ready, set, brew. Alright, I'll try. She suddenly changed her voice to give potion instructions. Pay would be the potion master if there was ever a Hogwarts AU. Can you please bring me the blue potion? Careful now, add two drops to the cauldron. I'm glad they moved my horse out of the way. Now we need sparkled worm blood. It's the red bottle. Uh, add a dash of that to the brew. We are also going to need some frog saliva. It's the green bottle. Just throw the whole bottle in, don't worry about the glass. And now we're ready for the apocryphal, which is hard to pick up because she's right there. Toss the apocryphal into my cauldron. <laughs> now what? We dance. This part could take a while. Maybe you want to come back tomorrow. Please don't clock, 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 please don't clock. Excellent work, Louisa. The potion is almost ready. Oh, there's a clock now I have to spend the night. Because I am going to finish recording these quests today. Come on, Dream Chaser, we have to go sleep. <laughs> we have to go knock ourselves out. Sleep, there's an inn in Mistfall somewhere. I know there is. Is it up here? Yes it is. And now I can take the trailer back to Jasper's and go back to Pi and finish this because it's really exciting. So this is when the first week of new story quest is finished. The first time. And then the following week we got the quest that I'm about to do right now. And then the week after that we got the continuation of the other quest because I couldn't finish them or something. I don't really have to now, but I don't have time to, time to train today. Oh well. It doesn't matter if I miss a day of training, as long as I can log on before the update on Wednesday so that I can buy everything in the bit shop and also the horses that I'm going to buy when I finish training. My last two horses, which are Winter and Silver Princess. 
By the way, I'm not sure when this video is going to go up. It depends on if my microphone died at any point during this. more people doing Star Stable Let's Plays but there's only like a few good ones because there are some Let's Plays where like um the person just doesn't seem into it you know what I mean like to me when someone's into it they like comment on what's happening and sound excited and stuff like for example a red pie the potion is made yay your potion of untrue saying is ready and none too soon I don't think these old knees could take much more dancing. Hoo hoo. With this potion, your eyes will be open to Idris's untruth. I only hope your mind can handle it. It's time to return to the circus. Justin, are you coming? Wait, I have to ride down these wickety old catwalks myself? Maybe the witch could turn Saga back into a pig, just for a few minutes, and I could ride with you? Very funny, Justin. Come on, I believe in you. Okay, we can do this. Slow and steady Saga. I'll stay with Justin and make sure he gets down safely. You go on ahead, Louisa, and we'll meet you at Neil's Island. Alright. Note to self, call for pickup this time. Don't fall into the swamp water because you gotta go up to Neil's Island anyway. Now, don't take don't take the trailer to the highland. Don't take the trailer to the highland. Don't take the trailer to the highland. Because if you take the trailer to the Highland, yeah, right, I'll waste 25. That was New Hill Crest Table. That was not Nyla's Island. Dang it. This is completely the wrong direction. <laughs> I'm not supposed to go to New Hill Crest Stables. I have nothing to do here. Well, not even with it. Not with this horse, anyway. Now. Oh. They removed it for this quest? Ooh. Because when I didn't, they didn't have Neilma's Highlands removed, so I could still try to get there. And most of the time, I'd end up back in this, back in the trailer that I started in. But sometimes I'd end up on the road somewhere on Neilma's Highland, which was funny. I've actually recorded some pretty funny fails for it too. I will upload it eventually. I will do it. I promise. Eventually, just need to find time. No dream chaser, don't do that. Oh, come on, this is the part where you. This is a shortcut, isn't it? I'm sure it was a shortcut. Or maybe it went up a bit high. That's possible. Or I tried at the wrong angle or something anyway. It's funny how you really want to train on days when you know that you can't. Like, I'm definitely not going to have time to train today. I'm going to see Dad and he lives like two and a half hours away. Gosh, I love that phosphor, that's so pretty. Good, you made it. Where's Justin? Untruth that is real, and reality that is true. It sounds like something Frick would say. Anyway, we'll know where he's hiding soon enough. Ready to test out the potion, the weasel? I split the potion into equal parts. Let's all drink together. Ready? Down the hatch. Now we have to go over here. All the way over here to drink the potion for some reason and stand there. Oh, Justin did get up here somehow. I'm not sure how. Lind probably had to give him a lift. It looks so cool. Well, it's not a wall that's keeping us out. It's a labyrinth. Technically, it's only a labyrinth if it's a unicursal without any branching paths. If you just meant to keep me keep us out, he'll be much better off with the maze. Oh, I just thought that the labyrinth sounded more I don't know, 
Where did he? Of course, it could be a labyrinth. The labyrinth often has spiritual significance. Perhaps walking the path is intended to help it is intended to help us reach some sort of understanding. It's so stimulating being your horse. Apparently there's no difference between a maze and a labyrinth, really. Or at least a labyrinth isn't what Linda says it is. I'm not sure. In Greek mythology, the labyrinth of Crete housed a horrible monster, the Minotaur. What do you think we'll find at the centre of this one? Nothing so scary as that, I hope. Gulp. Don't worry, it'll just be Idris. I have a bad feeling about this maze. It's more like an invitation than a warning to stay away. Idris is toying with us. What choice do we have but to play along? Just be careful, okay? Okay, I'll be careful. Let's run headlong into danger. Ooh, spooky. And your horse does not want to come with you. It is too scared. I think this is the way. Because I've done this quest like... No, I think I've only done it once before actually. No, that's the wrong way. Alright. Concord? Oh. Wait, why is there a yellow tent thing over there? It's weird. What is the meaning of this? Well, it's all at least. Oh, there he is. It's a little tiny baby. He looks so scared. I have to try and get him out. With a decent crowbar you can wreck the world. No. You again? Stop doing that. This is how you get shot. <laughs> or stabbed or whatever. You're upsetting our star. Mr. Idris wouldn't like that. Show's on, horse lady. Mr. Idris is waiting for you under the big top. No dilly dallying. Don't worry, Concord baby, I'll come back for you, I promise. I was invisible again. Miss Idris is waiting for you under the big top, as though your character is interested in him. Which mine is not. Oh, and there he is, waiting under the big top, just like he said. What are you doing with Concord, you monster? Mm. I've been waiting for you, Louisa. What did you say we get this show on the road? Mm. Madame and Monsieur, mm. the moment you've all been waiting for is close at hand. Mm. My circus of dreams will usher in such miracles. Truly, the show to end all shows. Mm. You could have front row tickets, but you just had to go and spoil the surprise. Release Concord, tell us what you want. I'm only going to say this once, don't cross me and my friends. Release Concord, the fantastic flying foal, but his place is here, in the center ring. We're begging you, let Concord go. He is a very special horse, he belongs with a friend of ours. Tell me about this, friend. Her name is Anne. She's brave and strong and she needs our help. She's trapped in a terrible place. A terrible place? A terrible place? Tell me what's so terrible about Pandoria? God, is just such a drama queen, I love it. Yes, gasp. I'm going to take that to mean a delayed gasp. Don't you realize? What people call Garnock is a Pandoric power that bubbles. No, just no. Let me handle this. Linda, for Christ's sake, you don't have to be right all the time. Just admit when you're wrong. Pandora is home to a great evil that threatens to destroy our world. The power you are playing with is more dangerous than you can imagine. <laughs> Little fleas, you truly know nothing. Pandora is the world under threat. This great evil you speak of has was banished into was banished to my home. And you would call us terrible? Oh my god, that was a really good animation when you said that. But you were right about one thing. The curtain must fall on your world so that my home might survive. What are you going to do with us? This is a circus, is it not? Let me entertain you. Such a drama queen. <laughs> 
Now listen, I might not like him for the same reason others like him. I like him as a character. He is so cool. Now, don't press the confetti button like everyone else did. Forgive me, my sweet. I promise this won't hurt. Much. I made it then kind of like <laughs> tilts your chin out when he says that, or at least like cups your chin or something. I'm gonna put the confetti on. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Dream chaser. Let's go approach Idris. Yeah, I just imagine that as he says that he kind of like cups your chin. Today, for one showing only, the amazing Idris presents a horse race like no other. I present to you Charlotte, Stephanie, Chloe, Loretta, and last but not least, Louisa. Louisa? Will I have tact this time? Yep. Ooh, that tack looks really nice. <laughs> Whoever wins my race can become human again. The others shall remain as a horse forever. Mm. What's this? A new challenger approaches. God, she's beautiful. Mm. Voila, behold her true colors. Mm. Let the race begin. I really hope that the next lot of Norfolk Wild Horses has a horse like Z, a golden horse, and a horse like Night Dust. I love the George Circus race music. Oh, that's a giant loose fox. So you notice things when this is the third time you've done this race. Well, I mean, it's only my third time because the first time I did it properly and then I did the star race for the achievement and then because the last race I'd done was this race um, Yeah, kind of uh, let me redo this race Like how I said, hey, collect the XP from this race and I was like, I've already done this race and I can't get back into the circus tent because of the force field. But anyway, let me redo the race. Someone is floating. A glitch or a feature? That's Bethesda talk. No, seriously, what is that up there? No, there's definitely people running around. I think they're actual people. Like players, not NPCs. That was weird. Please turn me back into a human now. You make a wonderful horse. Are you sure you want me to change you back? Very well. I am a man of my word. What if I don't want to be changed back? What if I want to be a golden horse forever? I press the confetti key again. Poor Z. I warned her that you would put up a fight. I just hope her pride will heal before opening night. As for Loera and my other stars, I am supremely disappointed. Perhaps they would be more effective as carousel horses. Round and round, up and down. Wouldn't that be delightful? I mean, he has a point. Are you okay? Do you need anything? Like some water? Or hay? Not funny, Linda. turned into horses, a horse burning with Pandorian energy. I don't even know what's real anymore. When 
primary interest is caught, reality follows his rules and we're powerless to stop it. It's a shame he sees us as an enemy. With his help, we could get Anne back in no time. Because he's French? Justin, why are you so stupid? Because he's Pandorian. Oh. Oh. In all my studies, I've never come across anything describing actual Pandorians or their powers. If we're going to rescue Concord from the circus, we need to understand what we're up against. Every grade might know something. See, and before we went at this point, at this spot outside the tent before we were out on the highland for some reason? Anyway, it was weird. Things are changing, they're doing something. No, stop sliding back. Please, I just want to get the trailer to Veiledale. Stop sliding back. Jesus, finally. It's such a pain when the horses do that. Right, now up to the secret stone ring. Circle, whatever. Oh my god, it was so cool being the golden horse. In universe it would have been terrifying. Secret stone circle and into Fripp's room where we can talk to Elizabeth. No, not Elizabeth, Evergrey. I found it interesting how your character said Evergrey might be able to help because in my story, my character Louisa is friends with these other girls, Rebecca and Anna, belonging to two of my friends in real life. Look at them on the sides of the room for each other, they've been fighting. Just like all siblings, apparently. Louisa, Linda, you're shaking. What's wrong? See, in universe it would have been terrifying. Concord is being held at the circus. This I have to hear. The Circus of Dreams is run by a man who calls himself the Amazing Interest. He says he's from Pandoria. An actual Pandorian at large in Yorvik? How exciting! Exciting is hardly the word I would choose, brother. Catastrophic is more like it. That's a have one for you. Always saying the worst in everything. There is no bright side here, brother. Wild Pandoric energy is dangerous enough, but with intelligent force behind it. This showman could rewrite reality itself. History becomes fantasy. Up becomes down. Our entire planet becomes a juggling ball in his circus. Bah! He's just one Pandorian. And when his friends come, we're doomed. Doomed! Evergrey, did you encounter any Pandorians in your travels? Fewer than I would have liked. They are reclusive creatures. Those I saw hid behind masks. I wrote about it in my journal. Come to think of it, my old journal should be here in Fripp's room. Perhaps it holds a clue to stopping his Isidrus. Mm. Filed under fiction, no doubt. Your embellishments would make Marco Polo seem modest by comparison. Nos. It's true in all the ways that matter. Louisa, would you mind checking the shelves for my journal? Alright, alright. I'm running into a book. No, it's not he. I think it's he. A dictionary? <laughs> no. It's the last one. Should have remembered. A pilgrim in Pandoria. This must be Evergrey's journal. Should you bring this book back to Evergrey? Mm -hmm. Yes. Here you go, Evergrey. Here's your book. Now we're on to something. Uh, ah, that's the one. Let's see here. Crystal Caverns, Shadow Seekers. I know what's in here somewhere. Maybe if you hadn't crammed the pages with bloated tales of your bravery, it wouldn't be so hard to find the important stuff. We're running out of time. Time! That's it. Avalon, you're brilliant. I... I am. You've heard of the concept of time, Zara. Oh, I know this. Astronomer Arthur Eddington hypothesized that time is fundamentally one way, always moving forward, never back. Precisely, Linda. Or to put it another way, entropy. In our world, entropy is a fact of life, not so in Pandoria. So that's not what I understand entropy to be. To me, entropy is chaos, disorder. In Pandoria, there is no concept of beginnings or endings. Time's arrow does not apply there. Time is an to them. 
even toxic. Phenomenal. Idris must have found a way to create a pocket where time's effects are lessened. Yeah. Like the secret stone circle. Man, that's exactly. Problem. And as long as Idris is in that space, he can bend reality to his will. Not even the power of a soul rider can fight unreality. Man, then it's hopeless. Not okay. if we have time on our side. This is where it originally ended because they needed to fix some stuff up. See? That still comes up. They didn't come up the first time though, so everyone was confused. They were like, that, that's it? But it wasn't. Now the question is, how do we use time to our advantage? During my exile, I had tea with a witch who claimed to have found a way to trap time in a bottle. She had hoped that her discovery would lead to unlocking the secret of eternal youth. Instead, but by opening the bottle, all you would get was a lot of time on your hands. I think that either instead or but should be missing. But anyway, they need to edit their dialogue more. Is this a joke, Evergrey? Here, I have one for you. Why did the idiot brother throw a clock through the window? Because he wanted to see time fly. Avalon, 